gonna make clock chasers. Here we are. Back on blood waters. Had a little walk around for about an hour this morning. I didn't really see much. I've seen some fizzing down this bottom end by a snag, so I thought I'd jump on it. As you can see, I brought the old uh, Viper out today because it's going to be lashing down most of the day. And just as I set up, big bosh down in the peg one. Oh dear. The only real movement I've seen. And I must have stood on here 45 minutes to an hour. Checking out the water to see what's going on, and as I say, I've seen some bubbling and fizzing down this end. Seen some little movement down there, probably rod or something cool. Roach or whatever. But then on the reed line, I don't really fish that reed line, I go straight up to the uh, the lines in the water. The right on the reed line was a lovely bush, good slap as well. I'm going to hold it out, boys, I'm going to hold it out, I've never fished this peg. Never fish this peg. Just gonna get my pod. Pod all set up. <laughs> and start wrapping the rods up. Let's see how far it is out there. I'm gonna clear a spot. Happy days. This is uh, when we've done the 24 hours. On the uh, main steer and the old man. She was on this far side over here. And that's where he had that. Um, I mean, what he was, like 20, 22 or 23. But I'll put a picture up. Yeah, he had that, but he, he was losing some, some big. I was losing some big ones over there, but he was losing them in the margin. So I'm going to try and get as close as I can to that line over there. I'll show you all that in a bit anyway. I'll show you where I'm fishing. Oh, I found some clear spots in that. But yeah, let's crack on. It'll take me about an hour now to get everything, all the rods out and whatever, so we'll get back to you shortly. That bosh needs to come down, yeah. <laughs> Guys, literally just as I was getting my rods out, I don't know if you can see down here in the snags, massive bosh. So, I've just put a bag on, quickly set one up, put a bag on. I'm just gonna flick one in there, give it an hour and a half or something, see what goes on. I get it first cast. Oh, that's where the bash was. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back let it. Give it the old back lead. I put some rig foam on it as well, so. And there's the pop up. But yeah, the bosh is lovely. Makes me feel better being down here, isn't it? Oh, there's my rig foam. Even better now, my rig foam's up. Uh, 
I'm going to fish those tight, but not so tight, if you know what I mean. So it rips my rod in. Yeah, I don't need to, uh, so I'm going to fly down them stairs. <laughs> no, it'll be comical. That's that. Get the volumes turned out. There we go. He went there and off. But that's exactly where the brush was, so. That's fine, that's fine. So there we go guys, 15 reps. And to that spot where I want to be. Rigs I'm using are um, size 4 wide gap, you know I always use them. There's some stiffling. Just the basic nut, let's not. Basic hair rig. And I've come off the helicopter system now. I'm for the inline lead. <laughs> oh, damn right. <sighs> Yeah, I've got my name on lead now. Give that a blast. What I'm going to do with this one is the old five foot down. String it down. Six bodies on the stringer. Tied up into a down. Put it on. Twist it twice. As you can see, but there it is. In theory, when it all melts away, the bait on the hair should be in the middle. In theory. Uh, let's get that one out. Then we'll have some breakfast. And hopefully, have a fish. Come on. You won't make carb chasers. Just gone 12 o'clock. Let's move the rods again. I had um, a vicious line knock earlier. That's all I've had. It's normal movement. I oh, um, just moved them about, having a play. I'm eating something there, I'm eating some uh, salad and that. And a coffee. So yeah, I just had a little play about with the rods. And two new spots. If it produces anything, as you can see, the sun's come out. It's been lashing down for the last probably four or five minutes to an hour. Um, I've seen a lot of movement on the other side. Oh, I say a lot. There's more that side than there is this side. <laughs> Look at that pissing cold coming. The nose is getting blocked. Yeah, sun's out. 
Let's see if he produces anything after that bit of rain we've had. It would be nice. I was on, um, I was on, I went out last week. Runs water, buzzes valley. What is a run water? <coughs> you know, what is a run water? I, I, I see Boston, the big lake. I see that as a run as well. Because, you know, you get the fish, you're guaranteed to have a fair few. And Buzzard's Valley are blanks. And I, I was putting it on the fish. You know? It's very good. Oh, hello. Yeah, I was um, on the unbashing fish. <sighs> yeah, it's not, it's not as if there weren't enough signs of fish there because that bashing one just bashed out in front there. I was bashing everywhere. Um, no matter what I've done, nothing. <clears throat> Even the bailiff there said, uh, John, feed him a bit more. I'm thinking, you know, I can't feed him anymore. I've just bought him a couple of kilos of pellets off you. I've just put a fair few kilos in already. I'm more than boilers than that. <coughs> oh, dear me. But yeah. Move the rods. Hopefully. What's to say about son? Mm hmm. It's nice. Hopefully, I still will be out soon. Yeah, better wangling. i the whole life to myself again. I don't understand why. This place should be packed. Not that I want it packed, because I won't get pissy on. But you know, for what's in here? Should be packed. Every other weekend we've been here. And it's not rammed. Oh, yeah. Rubbish. Oh, the dogs today, so. You know, I hear a screaming dog. Ah, pistol. So, yeah. Come on, fish. Fucking the bait. I swear to a few lads, you know, on most of the lights I've been on, they've been switched on. Obviously, because of the weather, most lights are flooded. Yeah, most lights are flooded, don't they? So. No. Come on, the fish. Oh, that's enough to try and waffle. We can go and eat some more uh, mm, chicken salad. <laughs> and hopefully, something happens. Oh, yeah. See you in a bit, guys. Bye.
I like my car chasers. Totally for free. It's literally just stopped raining about 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, me and my rods are back. And the right funky, uh, like on both rods. Bit weird because the one's got a back leg on the other one, the one hasn't, so. And what went on there? Made me jump out of, um, jump out and go down to him now. Oh, his fingers just lifted a little bit. Come on, fish, come on, fish. But yeah, it's a crazy one. I don't know, bothered. And I got fish bashing over my baits as well. But it's not like I've picked the wrong pig. I literally bashing all over my baits. So, yeah. I'll be nice if one screamed off now on on, uh, on camera. It would be very nice. But yes, yeah, uh, hopefully it stays like this now, it's dry. So, first the stuff for dry, I'll be doing that. I've been like a video in about two years. Uh, hopefully it dries out. Oh, yeah, come on, fish. Come on, coffee, coffees. I had a feeling it's going to be one of them blankety blanks. But I'm going to be optimistic. I've still got a few hours left, so. Just thought something would have happened by now. But, as I say, a few hours left. Let's see what happens. Is that a little shitter? This 11 pounder. As you say, my blank. If it'll let me pick it up, that is. There we go. So I'm your blank. £11 on the nose. Happy days. Let's get it back. The other rods just had a bit of action as well, a couple of bleeps as well, so. Get it back just in case. Oh, yes. Well, guys, it's uh, 20 past four now. Yeah, as you can see, just bought from the footage. Blank saver, little plastic shitter. 11 pound. I don't know, inside me a blank. Inside me a blank. There's um, a crazy one, to be fair. But yeah. Got it in there. Happy eyes. Fish are bashing all over the place. And uh, I ain't got a clue what's going on. But uh, I'm going to slowly pack down. I ain't got much stuff to move, so. Slowly pack down the stuff, get the car filled. Get home. Oh, I'll get in an hour. Give it an hour. See what the McCracken is. But yeah, happy days, eh? And a cop, and a cop. None of them the racking ones as well, because we've had a few carp here, what? Right? But they've come off. Stu's had a few, I've had a few, my dad's had a few. So he's one of them, please, please don't come off, don't come off. Quite a tidy, uh, mirror to be fair. Still had his lips as well, so. I'm quite well with that. <laughs> but, uh, oh, that's not nice, then. If I catch any more, I'll get back to it. If not, it'll be the outro in the car. So, right, guys, all packed away. All in the car. Ready to go out. Just the one today. Blank saver, though. Little plastic shitter. Yeah, quite decent as well. Wouldn't have no more cake. But, um, I thought it was going to be a blank. 
<laughs> I really did. But yeah, save boy a little shit. Right. Happy days, eh? Right? Happy days, right? Yeah. Uh, you like, can't take me nowhere. But yeah, I don't know when I'm next days. Could be next week. Could be in a couple of weeks. Um, Ash Jews, I can see it on the bank. So you probably see him in the old man next. I know he's getting on um, his winter syndicate water. So something to look forward to. I like it when he does his, his, uh, his syndicate thing. <laughs> you know, little diaries are like that. I do like it. I wasn't a joint even this year, but um, everything that's gone on, I just wanna have a few day sessions and maybe a couple of night sessions. Like. But next year I'm more likely to jump on it with him. So, but yeah, little shit out. Save the day. Eleven pound out. Pitch out right now. Ooh. So until next time, guys. Tight lines. Bye.